just to name a few. Um, Senator Weinberg, Teenex own, um, was instrumental in, in one of our screenings that we did on bullying the year that um, Tyler Clemente, who was a New Jersey resident, Bergen County resident, jumped off the George Washington Bridge after being bullied in college. Um, we made a big push to bring awareness to LGBT issues, to bullying, and uh, Senator Weinberg was involved with that screening, co-sponsored it. We did a film called Out in the Silence that year, and that was the catalyst, or one of many catalysts, where she introduced legislation in Trenton along with her colleagues and they passed the most comprehensive Bill of Rights, the Bullying Bill of Rights, which is the most comprehensive bill of any state in the U.S. So we had, you know, an impact on that that we take a, a tiny piece of credit, but it was so successful after TIFF we had to have an encore showing and Senator Weinberg came back. That was one thing. Um, there was another screening that we did with a documentary short about an orphanage in Africa in Western Ghana. Of, it was called Spirit Children and it related to children who were born with birth defects. And in that culture, they were considered omens of bad fortune and they were kind of left, left to die. And this nun established an orphanage for these kids and it was about her story. And one of the women who saw the short felt so compelled and moved through her church group. She raised funds for this sister in Ghana, in her church group, and they flew to Western Africa to deliver the money, the money to her orphanage um, so they could get things like running water. Um, and we heard about that story. We actually read it in the paper, and we were just blown away because, you know, there's so many kind of silent silent players out there that are doing this great work that aren't necessarily taking credit for it and we were able to you know share in that and to celebrate that you know the Central Park Five came out um, for one of our opening nights and their story you know to be able to tell that and, and hear about that in, in a community and people who have been wrongly incarcerated We've done so much on mass incarceration and trying to create a dialogue in our community um, relating to that. So those are just a couple of so many stories that really have impacted, um, you know, the state, the country, and you know, hopefully, the the world. Not you know, not to sound smug, but you know, there's that ripple effect, and we see it.